Hey guys, a lot of you know that most of the stuff inside that Dollar Tree sells for a buck 25 online, but did you know that some things, if you look hard enough for them, sell for quite a bit more. Today we're going in there, I'm gonna hunt down those high value items, and I'm gonna show you how much potential profit you can make in an hour doing this. I walked into the store and immediately something caught my eye. It's these 2023 graduation rubber ducks. So this is a time sensitive item because graduation season ends pretty soon, but for the next few weeks or few months, these are gonna be a great seller. One sold on auction for over $12. I bought five of these. I'll sell them for 12 bucks with free shipping. And I think people who wanna decorate a graduation party and don't have time to go to a Dollar Tree or don't have one near them would love to have these. Overall, I think I'll make around 30 bucks when I sell these five. Keep in mind, these are time sensitive because graduation season doesn't go on forever. But for the time being, I think these are a great flip. Next up, we have books. There's a lot of money on the bookshelves in these dollar trees. Sometimes you can bundle up kids' books like this to make some decent money, sell them for three or four bucks a piece. But what I want to focus on is individual titles we can sell for over $10 on Amazon with a sales rank below 250,000. This book hits all our criteria. Motherland, it has no remainder mark. It's in great condition. I can sell it as new. It'll sell for over $12. I'll make about five bucks off of that. I bought five of them. That puts us at 55 bucks potential profit. I walked over to the toy section and saw they had just recently restocked Hot Wheels Matchbox cars. These are a great way to make money. I could have spent all day going through them, looking up each individual car name, where it fits in the series. I only have an hour though, so I couldn't do that. I looked for themes that I know people like. So I found some Batman cars. I can sell both of these for about $12 total. There's other themes, other licensed cars, other kinds of cars, both Hot Wheels and Matchbox that you can sell for more money. But again, I didn't do that. You could spend all day doing that. Maybe you know more about these toy cars than I do. See, off the top of your head, oh, this number car sells for this much. There's so much more to selling Hot Wheels cars than I can go into in a short YouTube video. But just so you know, yes, the money is there. And yes, I did buy these to resell them on eBay. And yes, they will sell. Now, I'm only putting my potential profit at $10 for all of these that I'm buying because unfortunately, the shipping cost is kind of high because I ship them in boxes so they don't get broken edges. That's your call. Maybe you can fit into a bag. Maybe you're gonna sell it locally if you want to. Maybe you have someone who buys them in bulk from you. But the way I sell it, I can't make as much as I could off of something that could fit into a smaller poly bag. I walk down the toy aisle and keeping with the Hot Wheels theme, I found these Hot Wheel mystery packs. They put random toys in these. It's not just Hot Wheels. There's tons of different brands. Here's some Nerf branded mystery clips that go on your backpack. Someone sold these. These are completed successful eBay listings for about $3 per in a pack of six. And they weigh so little, you're gonna ship that first class mail and you're gonna make about $10 profit on that sale of six mystery packs. That puts our potential profit at $75. And keep in mind, you can sell all different kinds of mystery packs. They're always getting new brands, so don't just stick to Hot Wheels. You guys know I have a sweet tooth. This is my favorite section. I love going through Dollar Tree candy because oftentimes they'll have rare or special or limited edition candy runs. This Wiley Wallaby cinnamon licorice is a perfect example of that. The cinnamon licorice sells for a huge premium on eBay. And because it's so light and so small, like the mystery pack backpack clips, we can bundle them together and save a bunch of money on shipping. I don't think you can sell them individually, but in a pack of five, you can easily make about 30 bucks. That puts our potential profit at around $15, bringing us to a total of $90. But the fun doesn't stop there. These Bolero cleansing facial wipes are a gold mine. 
They have tons of different scents. Now, personally, I have these. I love them. They're a great product, and I think that's why they sell for so much money. These are reliably selling for five bucks a piece in multiple quantities. So four sell for 20, six sell for 30, 10 sell for 50. And again, because they're light, small items, you can bundle them together. We're gonna go with a more conservative estimate and say you can sell four for 20. There's proof of that on eBay. Let's say we'll do two of these. Two of these at 20, meaning eight packets total, that's $20 potential profit. This could be a replenishable listing that you can do in perpetuity, or at least as long as they're in the store. But I don't want to give you guys too high of expectations, so we'll stick at two four-packs at 20 bucks a piece, at 20 bucks total potential profit, putting our grand total to $110, and it hasn't even been an hour. I want to give you one last special bonus flip and it's the pregnancy and drug tests you can buy at Dollar Trees. Are these reliable? <laughs> I don't know, but they are reliable sellers. The only issue is that sometimes the market gets flooded. Right now, the market's flooded. You can't sell these for a profit. However, other times of the year, when there are less for sale on eBay, I've sold these for 10 bucks a piece and I make about five bucks profit. It's a bonus item, we're not gonna put into our grand total, but I thought you should know. So there you have it. In about 45 minutes, we found $110 of potential profit. There is risk involved. It's not a guarantee, but I feel really good about these finds. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.